The European Commission is discussing the creation of a special cross-border crisis response force so that international help can be delivered faster to where it is needed. The discussions come in the wake of the catastrophic forest fires in Greece, which have claimed more than 60 lives. The situation is still very critical. Uh, they report about 89 major fires ongoing. Uh, the activities to combat the fires are in full swing. Um, from our contacts uh, to uh, the Joint Research Center, we know that uh, the forecast for the coming three days uh, is only slightly better than the situation right now. But it's also pointed out that due to the sheer size of the fire, and the magnitude of the fires um, we doubt if there's a, a significant improvement so the focus will still have to be on the response on the combating of the fires with all available means. The European Union already has a central disaster response agency known as the Monitoring and Information Centre in Brussels. This centre coordinates requests for help with aid and support that is on offer. Uh, the request for assistance from Greece is still open and ongoing, but I think we've reached now the uh, maximum capacity of firefighting equipment to be uh, made uh, gre to Greece available. Uh, I, that means that all the concerned countries have sent what they could send, bearing in mind their national situation. In particular, in Italy, uh, fires are, are ongoing. The request was on Friday at 4 o'clock, and already on Saturday some aircraft were on site and were starting working. Now, on Monday, we have uh, uh, between 15 and 20 aircrafts uh, fighting and I think it's uh, I think a good result in 24 hours to have this capacity on site. I think all Europe is there to fight, mainly in terms of aircraft capacities.